mercy and peace may it be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot and just wanted to take a moment to give a word of revelation regarding a portion of scripture that we find in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. And that portion of scripture is about treading down serpents and scorpions. What the scripture actually says is, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. And I just wanted to take a moment to dissect some key words in this particular phrase to give you a profound revelation. Because in that, uh, most people, based upon some religious faiths or beliefs that are practiced, they take that in the literal as to handling snakes or handling scorpions, etc. Um, but what I want to bring to your attention is when we really begin to look at that text and begin to dissect the words and understand uh, the translation as to the metaphorical meanings of, of words, then we can get another profound revelation of understanding. So in that, as the first of all, the scripture says, behold, I give unto you power. And the word power that's used here is exousia. Uh, which exousia means influential ability or authority that is based upon one's spiritual vision being sharpened, being fine-tuned. So he says, I give you power or I give you influential ability um, through you being sharpened spiritually so that you can tread down serpents. And the word tread comes from the Greek word pateo which means to trample or to crush. However, the root word of that is peio, and peio means to hit or to strike back. So, so in this, the trampling that one does because they now have been given influential authority over who they're dealing with, he says, I give you the ability to reciprocate an answer. I'm giving you the ability to have an influential response that now can break down and tear down who's first of all tearing you down. And so in this, he says to tread down serpents. Now, the word serpents that's used here is office and it can literally mean snakes, but watch this. When I look at it at the metaphorical meaning, because once again, this is really a spiritual conversation that Jesus is giving revelation to, not a literal. So then I have to look beyond the literal serpent that I think of and look at what else that it's referring to. So when I look at that word office in the Greek, it in the literal means snake, but in the metaphorical, it means a malicious person. Uh, 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 a person who has wickedness behind their actions and behind their ways. Because see, understand this, even, even as I bring that to your attention, when you go back to ancient terminology and you looked at the serpent outside of the literal serpent, um, serpents were symbolic of being cunning having wisdom and knowledge or understanding of some things. So now you can really extrapolate and understand in the spiritual context of this is talking about those who are malicious, those who are cunning and strategic in what they say in order to try and, and tear down or discredit who they're talking to. So Jesus is saying, I'm giving you the influential ability to be able to counter those type of responses, those type of teardowns, those types of cuts and slanders so that you can now deal with them in a righteous way. When he said scorpions, we the, the, the Greek word is scorpios which we can understand once again in the literal, the small animals that have the ability to, to sting us in their tails or, or, or so forth. But there's also the Greek word skopos, which, which skopos is a person who is a skeptic. And what is a skeptic other than a person who questions or doubts uh, accepting anything that has been an accepted opinion or truth by others. So in this, as he's talking about the scorpions, he's talking about once again, the skeptics who observe in concealment, they sit back and they look for their moment to strike like a scorpion and be poisonous with their comments regarding what they have to say because they want to cause pain and division 
uh, like a heretic. So, so in that, this is a profound revelation, hopefully for somebody, when you really look at this scripture uh, as to what Jesus is saying when he says to behold, or I want you to discern that I give you exousia, influential power, in order to deal with your adversaries who are either those who are malicious or they're those who are skeptics that want to disprove what you're saying as a truth and bring uh, counter opinions to the table to dismiss what you got as a righteous opinion. Amen. So with that being said, I pray this is a profound revelation of understanding for you as you continue on your journey to your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. Amen. 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 God's blessings to you and pray that this continues to assist you with your journey.